Hey guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop. Today we actually install some custom doors and window for the teardrop trailer. Uh-huh, look at that, uh-huh. And that window up there. You all see how I did it? Stick around. Alright guys, so it's starting to get a little warm out here, but that's why I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> uh, but I got the the frame in for both doors. They're just tacked in right now. I'll go back later and, and do a full weld. But I think what I want to do now, and I hate to do it, but I'm going to start ripping out this interior cabinetry. As much as I thought about it, it's I know the guy did a lot of work for this, but I feel like I'm going to do better with just wood. So I'm going to redo a lot of this stuff with um, plywood in the future. So for now, we're just going to start ripping it out and we'll get back to it later. So let's get started. Wow, what a difference. Uh, yeah, look at all this extra room I have now. <laughs> uh, it's not really a matter of getting more room, it's just when I go with plywood, I got a lot more flexibility. And I was getting myself stuck with what I could use in this area for refrigeration and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of one of those things you just kind of step back um, and I simplified the design so that I can make it a little bit easier later. So, but uh, went back and just ground down all the edges and um, that will probably stay that way for now until I get to the point of figuring out what fridge and what sink and all that good jazz. So uh, the next step will be to, um, to weld up the doors, um, well, the, the, the door frame, and then also build the frame for the window that's going to go up there in that top little uh, angle up there. So let's get started. Well guys, I hope you liked the update on the teardrop trailer. The main thing here was this would, I went with six inches, I went back and forth five, I went from five to seven back to six because of this little area down here. Um, I wasn't, I figured once I put some sheeting on 
this, I wasn't going to be happy with it. So I wanted to make sure I got enough height so that I can put some diamond plate here and not cause any problems down there. Um, and then also up here, I installed the uh, Stargazer, um, I guess Stargazer window, which these things are actually pretty inexpensive, about 60 bucks. Now the doors, on the other hand, those were about $1,300. So you can see why it took me so long to get the doors. Uh, but yeah, this is about nine inches, nine and a half inches uh, gap between there, and I just put it centered between uh, the 45 degree uh, brace down here. And of course, the other thing is, is I knocked out, I ripped out all the interior cabinetry that was already uh, steel. I, I just figured it was going to be too difficult for me to mix the plywood with the steel, so I ripped it all out in favor of doing it all in plywood. So hopefully that was a good decision. Um, next up is to get this thing painted. It's kind of a race to get it get it all the frame painted and stop the rusting from happening but uh, all in all I think it turned out pretty pretty good so thanks for watching folks and I will see you next time